Hello, everyone. My name is Daniele, and I work for a company called uh, Learn Kubernetes. And today I'm going to talk about solar panel and solar plants. So you're probably familiar that uh, with uh, solar production is actually increasing over the years. And um, just, just by 2017, what happened is um, production of solar energy doubled. But what does a solar plant look like? Oops. A solar plant looks like this, right? We have solar panels. Each one of them looks like this. And if you flip, flip the solar panel and look at this rear, at the end of this rear, you, what you will see is a computer. And that computer is in charge of doing things such as collecting metrics or driving actuators and also, also doing things like checking the voltage. And all of, these data, all of these data is sent back to a central location. And that central location is eventually sending back messages, things such as how should I change, how should I rotate the solar panel to maximize efficiency. All of this communication can happen two ways. We could have a wire network where we have cables going back to a central location, or we, it can happen wirelessly where we don't have the ability to actually connect directly. All of the problems I described, they look like problems of a distributed platform. If you think about the, so, the solar panels, we probably need an agent installed in each solar panel, and each one of them is, is installed, each one of them is on, on the solar panel itself. And then we need something like an agent in, in the central location which is able to distribute the jobs and also receive some of the commands coming from, um, from the solar panels. So if you were to design such a distributed system, you'll probably find that you need something like a way to distribute um, applications or just updates from the, from the central location in, into the solar panel. You probably come up with a way to secure this communication by yourself. And if you don't want to do any of it, you can still go and buy something available in the market, but you've got limited flexibility on what you can do. So what if, right? So all of the problem I described are also the problem that we see when we design a um, cluster in the cloud, right? So what if we actually use Kubernetes to, to drive our solar plants, right? What if installing just any agents on the solar plants, we actually install the kubelet? We know how it works, right? Instead of deploying just anything, we can deploy containers. And, and the reason why containers are great is because we can ship just the difference between the previous layer and, and the current layer, so we don't need to distribute all the application all the time. So we're just you know, very, very efficiently distributing applications. The other interesting things about Kubernetes is the orchestration, right? Think about it for a second, but if you've got application going down inside a solar plant, so you can imagine some of the solar panels having pod crashing or just being disconnected from the network, then Kubernetes with replica sets and deployment will basically um, restore those applications for you. And then thirdly, Kubernetes is designed to be secure, right? So it's probably not a news to you that the master node and the communication between the node is secured using something like TLS. That's true for the cloud, but if you install the kubelet inside a photovoltaic panel, then you will get this sort of, sort of um, feature as well. Now, this looks like a nice story, um, but I want you to think, of, think about it for a second. What happened in June is that a news came out that Toyota is actually running Kubernetes in their cars. You can imagine the dashboard, the lights, all of them like with small computers, and uh, each one of them running like something like a kubelet. It turned out it wasn't true. They actually run Kubernetes inside their cloud, and they actually use Kubernetes to download the data from the cars and process it. But I, I challenge you, what if? What if you were to install Kubernetes in a car? What if you were to run Kubernetes on a solar plant or just the lights at home with the Internet of Things? What that, what, what that will look like? That's it. Thank you very much.